How to Become an Ultrasound Technician in Four Simple Steps. Brought to you by medicalfieldcareers.com. What does an ultrasound technician do? Diagnostic medical sonographers and ultrasound technicians operate special imaging equipment that create images and conduct tests on their patients. The images, along with the matching test results, assist physicians in their assessment and diagnosis of patient medical conditions. Sonographers and technologists, in many cases, will work very closely with doctors, physicians, and surgeons. On your right, we will get into the specific job duties. Ultrasound tech job duties are prepare patients for procedures and get medical history details from patients, prep and maintain necessary diagnostic equipment, operate equipment for diagnostic imaging and tests, review images and results for quality and make sure that the coverage of the areas needed for diagnosis is full, see differences between abnormal images and what would be considered normal, provide a summary for physicians, track patients' records, and record your findings. What is the process to become an ultrasound tech? Becoming an RDMS, our Registered Diagnostic Medical Sonographer, is easier than you may think. The level of education needed is an associate's degree and you will need to be certified. We cover the four necessary steps that must be taken to become an RDMS or ultrasound technician. Step one, have or get your high school diploma or GED. This is a must. Not having your high school diploma or at least a GED will stop you from going any further. Step two, enroll into an accredited ultrasound tech school. Most colleges have ultrasound tech slash sonography training programs. Community colleges offer associate programs that are two years in length, and there are four-year sonography programs, but that is on the high end of the spectrum for the necessary education level. There are also one-year certification programs at some colleges and hospitals. The accrediting body for ultrasound tech programs in the United States is the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. Be sure you check the database of accredited sonography and ultrasound tech programs from the Commission of Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. Step three, complete the program and other requirements if needed. Not all states require certification from their sonographers, but some do. That being said, employers are demanding it more and more and it is becoming standard to be certified. It also makes you more employable and desirable as an employee and can make you more money in the long run. Some states may have a requirement of basic life support training certification or something like that before certification is given. There are also programs that have certifications at the end of their training programs. The best options for ultrasound tech certification are the American Registry for Diagnostic Medical Sonographers, the Cardiovascular Credentialing International, and the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. Step four, get your RDMS certification. Prep for and pass the ultrasound tech certification test given by either the American Registry for Diagnostic Medical Sonographers, the Cardiovascular Credentialing International, or the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. Once you pass your exam, you are on your way to becoming an ultrasound technician. It may not be mandated by law, but getting your RDMS certification will be one of the best things you can do for your future as a medical sonographer. Before you go, check out our annual $1,500 healthcare scholarship. Just come to our website at medicalfieldcareers.com, fill out the application and submit your 1000 word essay on why you would like to work in the healthcare field and maybe you can get some of your education paid for by us.